Good morning. Today is Wednesday, November 25th, 2020. One layer of the meaning of Yaakov's dream in our Parsha is that it makes prayer possible. The philosophical problem with prayer, which we've discussed many times in the past, is how can there be communication, connection between entities that are so different, God and a person, even between people who share almost everything. Communication can be difficult. How can a finite, imperfect human being bridge the chasm to an unknowable and all-powerful God? So Yaakov dreams. By Yetzir Yaakov, Yaakov leaves home. By Yishkab Bamakom and he lays down in that place. Vayachalom, and he has a dream. Vihine Sulam Mutzavarza, there is a ladder that is standing, resting on the ground. Ferosho Megia Hashemaima, and the top of the ladder reaches heaven. Vihine Malachay Elokim Olim Viardimbo, and there are angels of God that are ascending and descending the ladder. Vihine Hashem Nitzav Alav. And behold, God is standing at the top, above. There is a bridge. There is a ladder that connects us to God. Now, we don't see it in daylight. But Yaakov is given a glimpse in his dream. But even though we don't see it in daylight, it exists. The connection is possible. Relationship is possible. Communication is possible. And therefore, Yaakov's dream shows us prayer is possible. Okay, it's possible, but it's still very hard. We try, we exert our best effort and we still need help. My grandfather used to tell me, a boy comes to his father and he says, I can't do it. And his father says, did you try everything? And the boy says, yes, I tried everything and I can't do it. And the father says, no, you didn't try everything. You didn't ask me for help. Before we start prayer, we ask God for help. Before the Amidah, the Shemona Esrei, the main prayer, where we stand in direct communication with God. Before we begin, we say these words, Hashem Sefasai Tiptach, God, open my lips, Ufi Yagid Tehila and my mouth will tell your praise. With all my effort, with all my preparation, God, I still need your help to enable me to pray. The ladder, Yaakov's ladder, tells me it's possible, but I can't do it without your help, God. That line, Hashem Sefosai Tiftach, is standard every time we pray before every Amidah, the standing prayer, the Shemona Esrei, we say that line, Hashem, Sufasai Tiftach, Hashem, open my lips and my mouth will tell your praise. If you attend Minyan in different places, you may notice a difference when the Chazan repeats the Amidah aloud. Chazar Sashatz, the reader's repetition, where the Chazan says the same prayer aloud on behalf of the entire congregation. So the normative Ashkenazic practice is to omit that introductory line when the Chazan is saying it aloud. We say it 
when we begin our own private Amidah, but the Chazin saying it aloud simply starts from the word Baruch. He does not say that line aloud. Because that line is for an individual. That line is for someone who is praying a private prayer. But when the Chazin prays aloud on behalf of the congregation, that line is omitted because it's not really a prayer, rather it is a private supplication to enable prayer. The Chazin, praying aloud on behalf of the congregation, praying aloud on behalf of everyone, does not recite that private supplication. But in some places that you may attend, you may notice a difference where some places the Chazin does begin his reader's repetition aloud with the words Hashem Sefosai Tiftach. Now, that opinion that it should be said aloud even by the Chazin repeating the Amidah aloud, that opinion was held by and explained by the Rav, Rav Yosef Soloveitchik of blessed memory. He explained that to ask for help to pray is no less a prayer than to ask God for anything else we need. It's not external to prayer. It's not just a private supplication that is preparatory to prayer. Rather, it is itself a prayer. We're asking God for something that we need and we need God's help for it. It's just that logically, that line needs to come at the very beginning, but as a prayer, just like any other prayer, it is recited by the Chazan aloud. And that's why in some places, especially places that follow the opinion of Rav Soloveitchik, like Yeshiva University, and those places that follow those customs, you will often hear the Chazan say it aloud. Okay, so there's a difference in custom. Each place should follow its established practice. And when we are at a minion, we might take note of what that practice is, if it's the same as what we're used to, or if it's different. But in any event, whether we are hearing it aloud from the Chazan, or when we say it ourselves, we should remember what makes it possible. And what makes it possible is Yaakov's dream. There's a ladder that rests on the ground. And the top reaches heaven. And there at the top is God. And the ladder connects us to God. What a gift God gives us when we ask for his help. My friends, I wish you a great day. I look forward to seeing all of you soon in person.